Hi, welcome to Yoga Any Day. My name is Elizabeth Stewart. Thanks so much for joining me today. We're going to be doing some yoga in alignment with the astrological energies of the vernal equinox on March 20th, 2021. This is an exciting time when the sun passes into Aries and begins a new cycle of the zodiac. We're going to start lying on our backs, warming up a little bit, and I'll talk you through some of the astrology, and then we'll get into some nice yoga practice. So go ahead and come down so you're lying on your back. Feel free to put your legs in whatever position feels most comfortable for you. You can stretch them out down along the ground, have your knees bent, have the knees open to the sides, whatever feels good. So the sun traveling into Aries is a very strong, clear, direct, masculine energy. Aries is ruled by Mars, and this is the energy of the seedling shooting up through the ground in towards the sunlight. It's a it's a straight line. It's not apologetic. It's not going back. It's moving forward. So we can think about this sort of strong forward energy as we're doing our yoga practice today. If you feel comfortable while you're lying there, you can start rocking the pelvis, tipping it so that your lower back presses down into the ground and then tipping it the opposite way so your lower back lifts off of the ground. So we're just starting to warm up the lower back. Nice and easy, rocking the pelvis one way and another way. So the other thing I wanna mention about the astrology is that the sun is conjunct Venus. This means that Venus is getting a lot of energy and strength from her conjunction with the sun and from her passage into Aries, which is coming just after the equinox. She's also receiving a deep transformative energy in a sextile from Pluto. So there's a lot about Venus here. Um, it's, I would call this a strong new beginning in love. It doesn't have to mean a new love relationship. It can be in how you relate to yourself or how you relate to others. Feel confident, um, move forward. This is a new beginning. And it has to do, as I say, with Venus in terms of what you value, what you love, and how you love. Feel free to check your natal chart to see where zero degrees of Aries lies, which house that lies in for you. Um, and you'll get more information about where this is showing up for you specifically. Okay, so we're going to separate the feet a little bit wider than hips distance with the knees bent and just gently let both knees fall to one side. Bring them back up to the center and gently let them fall to the other side. If you feel like it, you can coordinate with your breath. So for me, I'm feeling like inhaling into a movement and exhaling back out of it. That would be inhaling as the knees drop to the side and then exhaling as the knees come back up. Use your stomach for support, pushing your lower back into the ground. This strong spring energy of moving forward, I'm feeling like the inhale feels more natural when I'm moving into a movement um, or into a yoga pose. It's like that rushing in, taking in. It's not a letting go energy. That's Pisces, we just finished with that. Now we're taking in, we're taking on maybe a new challenge, at least a new year. So let's start moving the knees in circles. You can open them to the sides and then close them in when they come in towards your chest, making a few circles. And then lifting the arms up over your head, just giving a long stretch Focusing again on those nice inhales. And we'll start straightening one leg at a time. Squeeze the leg straight and bend it. Again, you can inhale as you move into the pose. So inhaling as you straighten. If your leg is a little lower down, right, that's totally fine, same thing. I'm just showing you how it might look if your legs are a bit more tight. Inhale as you straighten the leg wherever it is. Feel a stretch in the back of that leg. And exhale, bend the knee again. If coordinating with your breath doesn't feel right or you want to switch it up, follow your own flow. It's just a suggestion. 
Keep anchoring the lower back down with the stomach, just grounding and supporting your lower back. And we'll circle the arms down, keeping the palms facing up towards the ceiling, press into the ground with your shoulders a little bit. And now we'll do both legs at a time, straightening them, getting a good stretch in the backs of the legs and then bending them. Keep the shoulders down away from your ears, keep them pressing back into the ground. I'm inhaling as I straighten the legs, follow your own breath, but you can try that if you want. Again, it's that strong, straight energy. So we're gonna lower the legs a little bit as we straighten them. Then we're gonna lift them, keeping them straight over towards your head, and then let the knees bend and do it again. Straighten the legs down a little bit. Keep them straight as you reach them towards your head and then bend the knees again. Nice and strong. Squeeze the legs straight. Press your stomach down. Don't let your lower back come off of the floor if you can help it. You can go a little bit further in your range of motion if you feel comfortable letting your hips lift off the ground as your feet go over your head. Bending the knees as you roll through and straightening the legs out, over your head, and bending the knees again. You can keep increasing the range of motion. Just go by what feels comfortable for you. You can push it a little bit, but don't push too much. Thinking of that straight, strong energy line, feeling the legs expressing that kind of energy. Keep the shoulders back and down, keep the backs of the arms pressing into the ground. Try to feel confident. And we'll rest the legs down. You can bring the soles of the feet together if you want or rest them however. And we'll just rock a little bit side to side with the pelvis, just loosening up, lightening it up, taking it easy. And we'll reach the arms up towards the ceiling, interlace them and press the palms face up and then turn around the other way so the fingers are facing up. So we're just rotating one way and the other way. Stretch the shoulders down away from your ears. Don't let the shoulders creep up towards your ears. Again, this is that strong straight line shooting up energy. Reach all the way through the elbows, right? Straightening all the way. And then we'll lift the arms over the head and get a good long stretch there. Stretching through the hands, straightening the elbows. Focusing on the inhale, pulling the breath in. And we'll reach the arms back around, up towards the ceiling, and then open them to the sides. And we'll bring the knees into the chest roll all the way over onto one side and you can turn onto your side. Take a little pause, letting your head rest on the ground. And then we'll come sitting up by reaching one leg out and allowing that to help pull your torso up. And we'll come around to sitting with the soles of the feet together. You can hold onto the ankles or just above the ankles. If you would like, you can sit up on something. When you elevate the hips, it just makes it easier for the legs to stretch open. Also, you can have your feet however far out away from your pelvis you'd like to make it more comfortable for you. 
and we're going to use the hands pulling on the ankles or shins to help lift the chest nice and high and look up and then rounding just a tiny bit back, not a big round back and then opening up again. Looking up and then rounding just a little bit, stretching the shoulders, lifting up in the chest, lifting in the throat and dropping the head down, stretching the neck gently opening up again. If you feel like it, you can inhale as you're rising up and exhale as you're rounding down. Pull with the arms nice and strong, confident and open. It's an open heart. It's a confident love. You can try stretching the knees open and down towards the floor, especially when you're lifting up with your chest. As you pull with the arms, you take some of the work out of the legs and you can really stretch the knees out to the sides and down towards the ground. It's a full opening. This is our confident Venus. She's nice and open. and supporting with your hands as you gently close the knees. And we'll stretch the legs out, crossing one leg over the other with the foot flat on the ground. Hug that bent knee with your opposite arm and twist. Nice, easy breaths into your back. Just focusing on the sensation of your spine twisting, especially the lower and middle back. If you wanna go a little bit deeper, you can bring the arm so the elbow is crossed over, the knee with the hand facing up towards the ceiling. Breathe into your back, nurture your spine, take care of yourself, release tension. And we'll come out of it and switch the legs, crossing the foot over, hugging it with the opposite arm and twisting around. Breathing into the lower and middle back, and releasing tension on the exhale. If you'd like to bring your elbow across with the hand facing up towards the ceiling, feel free. Good long breath and gently coming out of it and stretching the leg out. So next we're gonna sit up very tall and reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Squeeze your legs, flex your feet, reach up long. This is our strong shooting up energy, like a little sprout shooting up towards the sun. And then we'll reach forward. Try not to let your hands rest on your legs or your feet. Keep reaching forward and look forward as well. This is a very confident, ambitious way to do that pose. And we'll reach back up. Make sure you squeeze your stomach. Reach up towards the ceiling again. And then we'll drop the hands back behind you. Spread the fingers nice and wide and lift your hips up towards the ceiling, letting your head fall all the way back with your neck nice and long. If that's too much for you, you can bend your knees instead. Lift the hips up, and if you don't want your head back, you can just look towards your knees. Either way is fine. Strengthening the back of the body, confidently opening the front of the body. And we'll lower the hips back down, legs straight out in front of you again and reaching straight up towards the ceiling, looking up if that's okay for your neck. Confident, strong energy. Steady breath, focusing on the inhales. 
and reaching forward again. Keep those legs squeezing. Push your butt back behind you. Look forward, reach your chest forward. And we'll come back up to the ceiling. Squeeze your stomach for support. Keep squeezing the legs. And one more time with the hands back behind you. Lifting the hips up with the legs straight or bent as you wish and the head all the way back or looking forward as you wish. Big open chest, stretching through the shoulders. And gently coming back down. And we'll bend both knees and just take a little pause here. Just let your head drop. Let your lower back round a little bit. We don't always have to be shooting up. We can take a little break. And we're gonna come forward onto your hands and knees with the toes tucked under. So I want you to lean your hips back towards your heels, but keep your chest open and then rock forward onto the hands and knees again. So we'll flow back and forth. Forward onto the hands and knees and then reaching your hips back towards your heels, still looking forward. I'm inhaling as I sit back. You can try that if you want. Confident open chest. And then we'll unfold into downward dog and fold back down so the butt comes back to the heels and then forward onto your hands and knees again. Leaning back, looking forward, downward dog. Back down onto your knees, looking forward and forward onto the hands and knees. Stretching the toes when the hips go back stretching the backs of the legs when you go into downward dog. Nice and smooth, confident, confident. And we'll straighten one leg back behind you. And then bend the knee forward and tuck your head in, bringing the forehead and the knee together. and we'll stretch it back again and the other leg goes into the air behind you. Nice and straight and strong. And then we'll bend the knee and scoop it forward, bringing the forehead and knee together. So you can repeat that again if you'd like or we can flow back into downward dog and do the same kind of leg movement from downward dog. So you'd lift one leg up and back, nice and straight and strong. And then when you bring the leg down and forward, you're gonna bring your weight forward over your hands, forehead and knee squeezing together underneath you. and back into downward dog and the other leg up and back. Again, you can do this from your hands and knees if this is too hard for you or do it from downward dog if you're up for the challenge. When you bend that knee and bring the leg forward, your weight comes forward into your hands. The forehead tucks down towards the knee. and back into downward dog. And we're gonna bend the knees, look up and jump both feet. This is like our springing forward of the clocks in daylight savings time. And then we'll jump back into plank and back into downward dog. If you can't jump all the way up between your hands, don't worry, just jump however far you can. When you're jumping back, jump a little and then find your plank and then back into downward dog and doing it again. Wherever you're going to jump, look there with your eyes first so you know where you're going and then get your feet there. 
and jumping back, either land in plank or land sort of in downward dog and then find your plank and begin again from downward dog. Look where you're going to jump, bend the knees and jump. If you're jumping pretty far up between your hands, you want to try to catch a little air. There's that moment where you're only on your hands. Try to slow that moment down. Land gently with the feet, no stubbing of the toes. And we'll take a little rest, dropping down onto the knees and sitting all the way back onto the heels. You can keep the arms stretched straight out with the elbows off of the floor, palms all the way flat on the ground for devotional pose, or you can bring the arms back by your sides with the palms facing up and let the shoulders fall all the way down towards the ground. Nice, easy rest, just feeling your breath. And when you're ready, we'll gently roll up, taking your time. And we'll come around into a warrior one leg position. So you're going to have one foot straight in front of you with the front knee bent over the ankle and the back leg is going to be straight with the foot a little turned out so that the heel can be on the ground. If you'd like to do this with blocks, feel free. We'll just hold here for a couple of breaths. And we'll step the back leg up and the other leg goes back. The front knee needs to stay over the ankle and the back leg is nice and straight with the foot turned so that the back heel can be flat on the ground. Nice steady breath. And we'll step the back foot up and the first foot that we did is going to go back again. Then we're going to lift up into warrior one, reaching the arms nice and straight all the way up towards the ceiling. Squeeze that back leg, make sure it's nice and straight and make sure the front knee stays over the ankle. And we'll come back down, reaching forward and down with the arms. When we're going to bring the back foot up, we'll just lift that leg up into the air straight behind you for a moment and then bring it down. And switching back to the other side, step the foot back. Make sure it's turned out so that the back ankle can be, sorry, the back heel can be on the ground and the front knee stays over the ankle. A couple of breaths there and then reaching the arms forward and up all the way straight up to the ceiling. Keep the back leg squeezing straight. Watch that your front knee stays over the ankle. And we'll come forward and down again. And we'll lift the back leg up into the air, nice and straight. If you want to adjust where your hands are, you can walk them more forward. Anywhere is fine, whatever helps and bring that foot down. So we're going to do it again, stepping one foot back. You can either hang out down here or for a little bit more of a challenge you can reach the chest forward with the arms straight alongside your ears. And then we'll come all the way up into warrior one. If your balance feels okay you can look up towards the ceiling big, open, confident chest, reaching straight up. And this time when we're coming down, we're going to step off and come into warrior three. The back leg is nice and straight and strong 
and the torso and the arms are parallel to the ground. And gently coming down and we'll go to the other side, stepping the other foot back. You can hang out with the hands down or again reach the arms alongside the ears and shoot your torso forward. You want to try to have your torso be an extension of the same line as your back leg. And then coming up into warrior one. You can look up if your balance feels okay. Rising up through your chest, big open heart. Reaching straight up. And we'll come into warrior three on this side too. The back leg very straight and strong, reaching back and the torso and the arms parallel to the ground. And gently coming down. And we're gonna go for a good forward bend here. Dropping your chest down towards the ground and then in towards your legs. I want to make sure that when you're doing this pose you don't feel a strain or even a stretch in your lower back. So if you are, you can prop yourself up so your hands are pressing into your shins or your thighs to take some pressure off of your lower back. Or stay down but just really focus on reaching your sit bones up towards the ceiling and letting your torso just hang down. If you want to go for a little bit more of a challenge, you can separate the feet a little bit, wrap the arms to the calves, pull your head through, and then wrap your arms around the backs of the calves and, uh, and then your hands go behind your head. Interlace your fingers around the back of your head. Nice and easy, one breath at a time and we'll gently undo it. Open the feet a little bit wider and turn them out and we'll come down into a wide squat. Dropping the hips down and forward, lifting the chest up and back, bringing the palms together in front of the heart and using the arms to open the knees. Try to look straight forward. Stay nice and long in the back of your neck. So I'll just show you from the front. You might not be so low, right? Your heels might be up, your butt might be a little bit up. Just keep trying to straighten your torso. If you need support, you can bring your hands to the ground. If not, try to lean your chest a little bit back as you bring the hips forward. And we're gonna sit all the way down. You can ease down onto the floor or just get down however you can. You can bring the knees forward onto the ground, sit your butt to the side, and then wrap the legs around to the front if that's more doable. And we'll bring the legs nice and wide apart. You can keep going wider as long as you don't feel strain on the inner knee. If it's just an inner thigh stretch, that's fine. You don't want to feel it right in the inner knee and you don't want to feel it too high up close to your pelvis. Otherwise, you can go a little extra wide since we're pretty well warmed up by now. And we're just gonna lift up very tall in the chest. Straight, strong, open energy, shooting up. Straight legs, straight arms, long spine. Steady, clear breath. And you can drop the chin down towards the chest a little bit, staying very straight and strong, but just giving the back of the neck a little stretch. And we're gonna gently close the knees. You can always support with your hands. And we're gonna stretch one leg forward and lift the other leg off of the ground. You can wrap your arms around the 
lower leg if possible or just hold the knee and the ankle with your hands. Try to pull the shin in towards your chest and lift your chest up and forward towards your shin. And we're going to drop that leg down to the floor with the knee open and then slide it straight out. And we'll do the other side, lifting the leg off of the ground. If you can wrap your arms around the lower leg, go ahead. If not, just hold the ankle and knee in each hand. Bringing the shin towards your chest and the chest towards your shin. You can always rock a little bit side to side. And bringing the leg back down to the ground, resting it with the knee open, and then sliding it straight down. And we're going to go back to the first leg. This time I want you to hold the ankle or heel with both hands and try to lift the foot up so it's even with the height of your face. Once you can do that, you can try hooking the knee over your shoulder. Once you can do that, you can try dropping the hand down to the ground and then the other hand down to the ground. If you're still with me, you can push through your arms so your butt comes off of the ground. And for the last extra challenge, you can try lifting the straight leg in front of you straight off of the ground. Wherever you're at, that's where you're at, no worries. And we'll gently come out of it. Again, opening that knee to the side as the leg rests on the ground and then straightening it out. And we'll do the other side. The first step being to hold the ankle or heel with both hands and try to lift the ankle to the height of your head. Then you can try hooking the leg on the back of your shoulder. Then you can try bringing the hand that's the same side as your bent leg down to the ground beside you. And if the leg will stay where it is, you can let go with the other hand and bring that hand down by your hip as well. You can try pressing the arms into the ground to lift your butt off of the floor. And you can try lifting the straight leg into the air straight in front of you. and gently coming out of it. And we'll rest that leg open again on the ground and then stretch it straight out. Opening the legs one last time out to the sides, lifting as tall as you can, reach up through your throat. Let the chin reach up and back. really exposing the throat here. Try to feel a stretch. And gently bringing the head back down and the chin down into your chest. You can bring the palms together in front of your chest if you'd like. Just a moment for honoring yourself here. And lastly, we're going to walk the hands forward, bringing the chest way out away from the hips and down towards the ground. When you're ready to come back up, really take your time and support with your hands. So slowly, slowly walking the hands back in towards the pelvis and rising up again with your chest and your head. This 
sitting up nice and tall, finding stillness and relaxation. Thank you all so much for joining me. Take care. Be well. As always, if you'd like some information about my personalized classes and videos, you can contact me at yogaanyday at gmail.com. And please subscribe to the channel. Give us a like, make a comment, interact, and I'll see you again for another yoga astrology video. Thank you.